doing? Why the crap did you do this to us? We're on your side. We're trying to deactivate the weapon systems now. Correction. We've already disabled the weapon systems. You have 30 seconds to convince me why I shouldn't have you executed for treason right here and right now. This man is not Bigfoot. The being inside the computer is the ghost of Sasquatch, who was killed 500 years ago, and is apparently taking his revenge on the moon. This man is an expert on Sasquatch, and we need his help. Do you honestly expect me to believe it? If we want to save the moon, what choice do we have to believe it? What other possible explanation is there? This asshole did it. How is he hacking the system when he's standing right here? Good point. I'll concede, but I'm not doing for that Sasquatch crap. Sir, if I could speak with Bigfoot, I could find out what he wants. I'm sure if he decides to destroy the moon, he's doing it for a reason. That doesn't mean we shouldn't defend the moon, though. It's like the moon. Hush up. Dick, go ahead and enter the system. That was some good system. Well, better talk to Bigfoot now. All right, let's open up a dialogue with Bigfoot. Is this Bigfoot? Yes, I am the Sasquatch. Ask him why he tried to blow up the moon. Uh, why did you try to blow up the moon? I tried to destroy the moon so that it could save the planet. Elaborate? Uh, might I recommend turning on the speaker system in the control room? This is kind of complicated. Hello, everyone. As you surmised, I am indeed the ghost of Bigfoot. I have spent the last 500 years traveling to the derelict spacecraft in order to download myself into your system at precisely this moment. I have attempted to destroy the moon because I have reason to believe it is plotting to destroy us all. Come again? General John Scheschlinger. Your great-great-great-grandfather destroyed the forest 500 years ago today. Do you know why he did this? For the good of the planet! If it was truly for the good of the planet, the planet would not require massive oxygen recharge tanks. Did you know that trees produce oxygen? Yes, trees. The actions of your great-great-great-grandfather all those years ago have led to this moment. Check your scanners and tell me how close the moon is to the Earth right now. 50,000 kilometers, sir. Wait, it's really close. The moon is under the direct control of an evil spirit. It is moving the moon closer to the Earth in geosynchronous orbit to create a massive mountain of water. It will then begin orbiting the Earth and will drown all life on the planet, creating a new planet in the moon's image. What? Who is this evil spirit? You would know him better as Richard Milhouse Nixon. <gasps> yes, the moon is Richard Nixon. This is insane! You're telling me that the moon has been possessed by the ghost of Richard Nixon? I tell you, I've seen some crazy shit in my day. I've served in 57 world wars. I've been in more battles than an ant has babies. I've killed more men than you could shake a stick at. But I will not believe that the most beautiful and heavenly body in our sky has been possessed by the ghost of a president who has been dead for over 500 years! Well, that seems to be the only option that makes sense anymore. Why else would Bigfoot be trying to destroy the moon? I assure you, General, this is the most scientifically sound hypothesis that we could have. As a scientist, all I can do is present the most likely solution, based on observations. And right now, it seems that the moon has been possessed by a malevolent spirit hell-bent on destroying the Earth. And I'm telling you, that's impossible. If I may interject, the General has a valid point. What? But you just said... Perhaps I was unclear. While there is a strong connection between the moon and the spirit of your Richard Nixon, it is unlikely that Nixon's spirit was the origin of this connection. In fact, it would be... Ah, of course! The moon must have possessed Nixon! What? what? Well, according to the first rule of paranormal possession, a spirit can only fully possess a being smaller than its original form. Otherwise, it will have limited control over it. Precisely which is why I have had such a difficult time in getting to the moon in one of your spaceships. What are you two talking about? Well, although there is some opposition, it is widely believed that the ghost cannot expand 
only shrink. So when a ghost possesses- Would you stop spurting that mindless dribble? We have a situation here. This is not dribble. This is critical to figuring out what we need to do next. Well, tough nuts. I'm the one in charge here, and we're doing it my way. And why should you be in charge? I'm the other one here that was jack deadly about Sasquatch, Sasquatch excluded. Maybe if we can all calm down for a minute, we can- You calm down! Listen, you, you, you are the man here. Idiotic. You should follow my you orders, You are right. so far up your ass, you should shut the hell up! Whoa! Where are we? What the hell happened? It must have created a temporal mind tunnel when the laser cross-dimensionalized the circuits of the computer. Really? No! I have no idea what the fuck's going on! Do you think this kind of thing happens to me every fucking day? Kind of. You really are an apt, aren't you? Bigfoot, where are we? Why, you are in my mind, General. And while you are here, there is something I would like to show you. What are you doing here? <sighs> I'm on to you, Nixon. First, it was a few small things, each inconspicuous, but together, a deadly combination. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. Did you honestly think no one would notice? Your rejection of Thomas Paine's Moonbase proposal? The sudden change in your personality after you placed that record-breaking phone call to the moon? Worst of all, your allowance of the use of napalm in war. You tell people you're using it for the Viet Cong, but we both know your real target, trees. I could care less what you do regarding humans, but you leave the trees alone. No deal! Those trees have got to go! I can't stand those leafy bastards! <sighs> Don't say I didn't warn you. Expect to hear from my friend, Deep Throat, in the near future. Cheslinger? Right, you got to go ahead. Burn them all down! Also, you have a copy of this tape? I want you to destroy the last 18 and a half minutes. I don't want anybody hearing this conversation. And if you know what's good for you, You'll keep your mouth shut. <laughs> well, that certainly wasn't lightning. How do we get out of here? You two will have to kiss. Kiss? What happened, you guys? Are you okay? Uh, um, <clears throat> uh, uh, we're fine. But more importantly, we need to find a way to stop Nixon or the moon or whatever the hell it is from flooding the world. But how? All of the missile are disabled? Beg pardon, but I believe before we make a plan, we must reassess the situation. I have no doubt that the moon has realized our knowledge of its plans and is making appropriate adjustments. What sort of adjustments? Sir, there's something on the scanner. What is it, Private? It's him, sir. Who? Quit babbling and tell me straight! Nix, uh, the moon. It's coming right at us! <laughs> there is nothing you can do to stop me with your puny human bodies. Well, what exactly do we do? We do the only thing we can do. We fight. We fight? We fight the moon. And we, we're going to take the fight to the moon. When? One of these days. No. We need to act decisively. We need to strike now. All right, we're here. But how do we defeat the moon? There's no hope and no escape. What did you do? In your haste to attack, you left out one crucial element of your plan. You left the perfect opportunity for myself to inhabit a new body. You mean? I am. The moon! Not if I have anything to do about it. No, not you. I, I am Bigfoot. Bigfoot. There is only one way to solve this. We must fight. You can't do this, Gertrude. 
I know you're in there. Please, fight it. If you give in, the moon will rob everyone on the planet of their lives. I am not a crook. We all paid a price for this victory, but the price is right. You are all free to do as you please with your afterlives. I, for one, will possess this moon to ensure that nothing similar to this ever occurs again. It has been an honor, folks.